if you haven't noticed, we are on a gravel road heading to Klokkelaan. It's about a 41 kilometer drive from Lady Brandt. And uh, I just love the fact that we started this trip on a gravel road. Oh, me too. <laughs> me too. I have to tell you, when I saw Klokkelaan spelling for the first time when I was, I think, in primary school, because my dad came here for business once oh, or yes. twice, I didn't pronounce it Klokkelaan. <laughs> I only learned that later. Oh, okay. How did you pronounce it? Klokolan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Um, I've never been there. No, I've never been to Klokolan either. But let's go see what it looks like. Yeah. This area has really got beautiful hills and mountains and kopjes and. Look at that rock there yeah. that formation all along the train line yes. I see for the first time yes. <laughs> I never noticed that I see there's silos up ahead we crossed the lines earlier that I saw but we were talking about something else and I never mentioned it to you okay and uh, the, the road covers them, the gravel covers the oh, tracks, completely. so there's nothing running on them. So these run right past the silos? Yes. So they used to transport grain or whatever it is that they store? For sure. Now it's road. These silos used to have train tracks running right up to them. And it used to operate? Yeah, big time. Motherport silo. Motherport. Uh, busy fixing up the road. Oh, that's why they're dumping all these heaps of things everywhere. Yeah. We're back on tour so soon. So quick, eh? Where I just want to go in, yeah? Okay. I think this is the Motherport station. These look like old railway houses. Definitely. There, the tracks go down. Yes. Such a typical scene. Yeah. I love it when they curve. Yeah, right past the silos. Yes, they used to always come. You can see how they used to pump into the... That's interesting. If you look under that little roof, you see those pipes? Yes. That are hanging out there. The yes. train used to pull in there with its car and the cars behind it. And then uh, they used to pump the grain or whatever, the millies or stuff, into the back of the train cars. That's still there. Yeah. That little overhang is especially for the train. Definitely, yeah. The infrastructure's yeah. I know. Like wild, eh? Never fails to sadden me. Kunrad Sneeman Primary School and Hobbit Hill Pre-Primary School. <gasps> Hobbit Hill sounds like one where you would have gone to. Yes. <laughs> We are in search of station name boards. Yes. Hopefully that have remained. I see them. Definitely old railway houses. Look at this stone yeah. one. This is the station foreman house. Yes. Look at my mountain. Isn't it gorgeous? Beautiful. They are, there they are again. These are closer for us. Modern port. Can we? Yes. Oh, this is not occupied, sadly. No. What 
What a beautiful house. Yeah. The outhouse is even in stone. This was a big station. Surprisingly, hey? Look at this. Look at all these tracks. Do you want to park and take a walk? I'm going to do that. Wow. That is incredible. Look at those buildings. Yeah. I wonder if this was a junction or... And those were the, were the spouts? That filled up the steam train's water supply, yeah. This is crazy. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines. Still wooden sleepers. This is concrete sleepers, yeah. Mother Port. Five thousand two hundred and thirty-four feet above sea level altitude. So many little flies flying around, yeah. Beautiful area here. Yeah. These hills. Wow, that's also another beautiful stone building there. Interesting how these things used to operate. That one further down used to be able to fill up two, one on either side. This one just one. Yeah, what can one say? It's like this gets used by the cattle now to sleep here at night. Yeah. Motherport Station. Motherport has lots of flies. <laughs> yes, I was swatting the whole I saw time. You I was walking swatted around. You. You have to get me one of those hats with all the corks hanging around, <laughs> like the Aussies do. Like crocodiles. Yes. 
Listen, this little house haunts me a little. It's pretty, eh? Because it's like very easily occupiable. Yeah, it is, eh? I mean, you can't get a more safe and sound structure. It's just the glass that have that has been broken and the doors yeah. that have been removed. I, think I it love needs it. A bit of work, but it'll yeah, be beautiful. Still. Eh? Yeah. They don't build them like that no more. No. Nah. I'm happy we came to Motherboard Station. That yes. was very interesting. Talk about infrastructure. <laughs> it has a big organisation here, really, for in the middle of nowhere here. Well, you can see with the number of railway houses too. Yes that there must have been a lot of people around. I would like to know why Moderpoort was such a big junction. Yeah. I've never heard the name until this morning. No. Then. You heard me call it Moderfontein even. Yes. So there are the other two station boards. Yes. Are they still up? That's fantastic. Yeah. Millie crops. We just drive and drive and drive and there's millies and millies and millies. This is huge crops. Are we struggling with the road again? They feed the nation. That's the truth. The roads are definitely not great no. in this area. I don't know where to drive. I have to stop and slow right down. This is quite shocking. Yeah. And then you go off the road because it's better to ride on the edge of the road because these potholes will just rip your tires if you go through your pace. I um, feel for the folks who have to drive here on a regular basis. Look at this. This is quite bad. Very bad. them are quite deep. Yeah. Some have been filled up with gravel. Surely that doesn't last long. No it doesn't. Just to the next rain it'll wash out. Sure, that was quite bad. Yeah. We've just come from Moderpoort. Yeah, I believe on this road somewhere is a, a church cave. Cave in a church or something like that. Okay. Uh, St. Augustine's, I think our host said. Oh. Yeah, so that might be interesting. Yeah. For folks who are in the area for longer than we are. Yes. Glockalan 21. On this beautiful tar road. Yes. Oh. <laughs> We've just crossed the Moderpoort River. This is the Baito River. Oh. The motor port was dry. Let me see if the Baito has water in. No. Baito also dry. Looks like they need a little bit of rain. Yeah. They're not going to get soon because the winter's arriving. Is that turn off? Yes. To Tlokalan. see silos those look like older ones old silos those hey wow see that yep these are new yeah yes but those down there i'd like to go get closer to them and see what they look like these 21 kilos went quick yeah Siker cop. Yes, going over the rail tracks. 
don't find stations, they find us. Exactly. And when we see them, we go to them. <laughs> Let's go to Tlokolans Industries. Agriculture is major here, eh? Big time. Everything revolves around agriculture here. I must say it's quite busy here, eh? Yes, well it's a Monday morning, so everyone's back at work. Yeah. All the farmers come and put in their diesel and buy their things and... <laughs> we don't know much about. No. I think it's go, 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 non-stop for them. Yeah. Seven days a week, 365 days a year. Uh-huh. Big industry, hey? It is big. I'm very surprised. That's the sign you read earlier. Yes. Silos and the station, but I'm hoping the other there are. they are. Yeah, but it's all closed in, can't get to it. Oh, but we're a lot closer. Yes. Yeah, look at that. That's interesting. Well, this is a siding. Whoa. Crazy. These are the old silos. The railway line used to run through underneath these and must probably pick up their loads. Wild. You can see this hasn't operated in a long, long, long time. They used to open these little sluices and let the millies and the wheat and everything fall into the train cars. Those are the chutes that they could turn and fill up the train cars. How interesting is that? Also another big Siding, eh? Yeah. There's a platform there. Must have been the station building. And yeah, the sign took a line. Awesome is this. And there is a train car. It's 
So I think I'm gonna put in some oh, la, la, petrol. Welkom in Tlokkelaan. Fold up in Tlokkelaan. Okay, Sadal, you said you wanted to go down here. We can still go down, but just turn right. Yes. There's some park here. You see it? Oh, there it says. Some... What is it called? Klokkelaan Park. Oh, okay. Unsurprisingly. <laughs> it's got a, an original name. We're not the only ones stumped. Yeah. Oh, it's just a play park for kids, but I don't know how... But overgrown, yes. Yeah. Road oh, they're redoing the road. That's great. Yep. I shall look up Clock Alarm and see what I can find. Yes. Super interesting, the first thing I happen upon. Yes. <laughs> Clock Alarm, officially renamed Los Locuane, was established in 1906. Okay. Quite a long time ago. It is. It's a small town in the Free State province. The Basutu called the place Shoshokwane. New inhabitants mispronounced the name and called it Klokolan. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, that's interesting. We haven't seen one board saying Shoshokwane. No. So for the purposes of our video, we will call it Klokolan. Exactly. So the roadworks have given us quite a big detour. Through the suburb? Yes. I'm happy with that. No, no problem. I'm sure the residents of Klokkelan are happy for the roadworks. Yeah. Some improvements. Definitely. Do you know where we would have come in? No. Probably higher up still. Yes. Eh? The established trees on the sidewalks, eh? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, the road works. All right. I see it's closed, yeah. So this, it's, it's this entire road yeah. thing. It's the main road going into town, it looks like. Oh, look at that. Yes, that park. All right. I wonder if there's any way to get in. We can take a drive around and see. Yeah. That's the John Daniel Newberry Hospital. Okay. This year? Yes. Oh, that's interesting. This seems to have been fenced all around, but there it's been broken. Yeah. Do you want to go in? No, that's, it's just a play park for kids and stuff like that, but it's all overgrown. I don't know how. It doesn't seem to be functioning well. I do get the impression that um, it's not often used. Yes. But then again, it might just be the grass that hasn't been cut, eh? Yeah. Because the equipment still looks fine. The Jojo tanks are no more. Yep. Someone was angry with them. <laughs> but the seesaws and the they look slides good. and all of that and the little picnic tables all look fine. It's yes. just that the lawns haven't been cut. Okay. I think we should reverse. Okay. The one hospital building is 1929. Oh, okay, nice. It's a district hospital, so probably services are... A big area. Okay. There you go. Oh, 1929. Wow. 1929. Pretty gable. Yes. Very nice. Mm. Oh, this road looks a bit nicer. Nothing wrong with this road. No. that folk 
folks who have lived here have lived here for a long time. Yeah. Oh, for sure. The properties are established. You can see the gardens are tended to lovingly. Big stands. Yes. That's what I love about these little towns there. Property stands are huge. Decay here and there. Like yeah. in most places. Yep. Looks like we're coming to the CBD. It certainly does. I see police ladies in uniform. Okay. But this doesn't look like the police station. Okay, foods. Check the old standard bank building. <laughs> Even this one is pretty, hey? Yeah. Just needs a lick of paint. Yeah, how gorgeous is yeah, this? Very nice. Oh. And it's still the standard bank. So you suspect it always was? Yes. Oof. Oh, good heavens. Yeah, it's beautiful. Must have been a hotel of some sort. Yes, <laughs> I concur. <laughs> it's a guest house now. Oh, okay. Hot early on already, eh? Hey? Yeah. I'm gonna have to open my window for a bit of air. Go for it. I hope it doesn't bother you. go off the road here a little. It's quite a ditch. Yeah. Seems to be a new house. Yes. Afrikaanse protestante kerk Lig in die duisternis A light in darkness ja. Can you figure out a date? I don't see there. Let me see on this Let me see if I can get closer to those corner stones Okay So apparently This was The old synagogue Which they brought over and turned into their church and it was established in 
interesting that it was a synagogue first, eh? Very. Yeah. So we don't know exactly when it was built. No, he says that he thinks it was built in the late 1800s. Okay. Yeah. Which makes sense. The town was established in 1906. Is that what we read? Yes, that's what we read. The police station. Oh, here we are. Okay. Modern building. Yeah. And apparently this is the new shop right they're building over here. This used, this used to be the old hotel. Oh, they broke that down. Yeah. See, they liked the um, Gables building style yes. here. Look at this. Yeah, these old buildings. I know, but stop here. This is the old police station, I'm sure. There's quite a bit to see here, eh? Oh, we find stuff to see everywhere. Yeah. Post office. Oh, oh, can man. we turn down here? Yes, I want to. Oh. Good heavens. Post office, beautiful. 9735. What is this, the town hall? There's a like a marble cornerstone. And we're gonna have a look. Town hall, it just says town hall, Stata is Klokke Lahn. Wow. So it's the town hall. stone was laid on the 5th day of November 1916 by His Worship Thomas Adrian Wilsnach, Mayor of Klokkelaan. Yeah. And straight opposite from the Town Hall is the Great Trek Monument, 1838 to 1938. Wow. Republic of South Africa, dedicated to those we have fought and those who still will fight for our beloved South Africa that the heritage they give us for our children yet may be 31 May 1961 sure. It's hot, so sometimes we turn the air conditioner full blast. <laughs> it is hot, must say. For 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's pretty warm. Another pretty gable. Yeah. Lots of gables in Klokalan. Okay, so this is the main road we would have come in on from the front there. Oh, okay. So it's closed further up, so we'll have to stop. So this has been resurfaced already. Yes. Molly's funeral home is in a, another gable building. I enjoy them. Yeah.
So do you want to take a guess? How many residents in the 2011 census were recorded? Say 2,000? They're not far off. They say 1,349. Wow. I'm sure there's a lot more now. I'm sure. Oh Definitely. no, absolutely. Definitely. Wow, look at that church. That's a big one. We yeah. must go check that out. It's massive. A lot of building also going on yeah. in Tokolan, eh? It's, Shops and stuff. It's good to see. And this? 1945. 1945. That's the, that was the end of the Second World War, so I wonder what this is. That definitely looks like some... Eagle type of thing, yeah. Air Force yeah, insignia or something, yes. Yeah. Interesting, pity we can't see the rest of the building. Yeah. Even two blue gables. Yep. Pretty gables. We turn left. Oh, we want to go back to the big church. Yes. All right. Let's see if we can walk around this church. What a massive building. So they were kind enough to open this massive church for us to go in. Yeah.
it's huge. see a cornerstone. It's the church offices over there. And apparently this is the memory wall. Gedenk me. Oh, this is pretty, eh? Built with stone. There's a bell. So the lady told me that there was a little church here and then they built a new one here. So it looks like the first church, this cornerstone was laid on the 15th of September 1908. And then it must have been remodeling done and things like that. On the 30th of November 1935, then they decided, nah, we're going to build a completely new church. And this new massive church was built on the 19th of May 1984. Wow. It's great that they've kept all the cornerstones. What a beautiful church. Massive church inside. I'm so glad they allowed you to walk through. Yes, the original church was built in 1906. All right. Then they um, fixed it. I saw the cornerstones and everything, and then they uh, remodeled the, the old church in 1935, and then they demolished it completely and they built this one. Okay. In the 80s. Well, the 1906 ties in perfectly with the establishment of the town. Yes. In the same year. And that's their memory wall. How beautiful is that? It's beautiful. Beautifully done. I wonder if they did that with the original church stones. That is quite unusual. No, I'm thinking that's what they did there with the original church stones. That is beautiful. Yeah, like very that. nice. Okay, I've got something I'd like to go back to. Alright. And then I've got a story to tell. I just gotta make you. sure I don't forget the story. <laughs> you were inside for quite a while. Yes, yes. Let me tell you something. The wind was like the breeze was blowing through the windows. And then all the leaves came blowing through, through the, the car. car. <laughs> it was fantastic. Keeping you cool. <laughs> Big dam there, eh? This is a surprise. 
surprise to me. Yeah. How does one get closer? That's our mission. Yeah. Look at the horses. There must be a way in here. What? Look at this little stone building. Somehow we need to figure out what this is, babe. This looks like this looks like. Could it be an old caravan park or is this the old showgrounds? Oh, and we apparently missed the agricultural show. Look at that this thing. This is the agricultural showgrounds. We missed it by two weeks, I yes. believe. Yes, I hear they've got such nice old things here. And you can see that. Look at all those implements down there. How do we get inside? Oh, I hope we can. Let me see if I can find an entrance somewhere. Now, this is definitely the old agricultural, not the old ones, the existing showgrounds. The gentleman there at the church, the one that was a synagogue first, yes. he says it is quite the event, eh? Yeah, the lady at the Dutch Reformed Church she told me the same thing. Please, can we get in here? Oh, the gate's open. The gate is open. Let me go and find out. Just hope we don't get locked in. Look at these implements. There's a car. I would think this is the office. Yes. This is exciting. Yeah. Look at all these things. Hi, look at this. <laughs> that doesn't move. That stays no. right there. Farming implements. This is where they dry or make a fire, I don't know why. And look at the steam. engine. Wow. Look at this, it's a grader, look at that, Trojan Patrol, a tractor converted into a grader, incredible. What an interesting place. 
unfortunately now they're going to be closing soon and we don't want to get locked inside here oh okay i see they just tidying up and removing odds and ends after the show yes yes uh, they are can but I please have a braai mealy for 10 rand? <laughs> I'll even pay you more. That's where they braai over there. And yeah. that's where they... Yeah. I Crazy. can taste it. Yeah. No, this is amazing. You should see that shed is full of old implements and stuff. They say that there were about 2,000 people here with the show. That's a lot. That's fantastic, eh? How's that coach? Yeah. Now, that coach is... The exact, not the exact one, but one just like that, which the old President Stein of the Free State used to have. And the, he says it took them three years to rebuild this one. They did a fabulous job. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm glad we got to this place. Yeah. I would like to share a little bit of, um, of the history I found on Wikipedia. Okay. The first to inhabit the area were the ancient Quena people from Botswana. Soon the Basutu followed. The town developed as surrounding communities needed a school, a church and business facilities. The Bakwena, a Sutu tribe, gave Hlo Hlo Luane its name in 1800. The Bakwena chief Motebang lived in the northern part of Klokolan in an area known as Betang today, a private farm. Okay. Motebang invited the neighboring Baputi Zulu clan to assist his people stacking corn baskets after a successful harvest. An argument erupted when one Bakwena elder charged at the Baputis. The argument brought forth the slogan, Hlola o Luane, or Hlohlo Luane, that translates as get or stand up and fight. And this may explain how the town earned its name. Okay. Settlers in the early 1800s drove the Basutu out of town, forming a township still known as Hlotlo Luani. Amazing, eh? Okay, hopefully now I can get back to that place I wanted to go to after we were sidetracked by the showgrounds. That was a good sidetrack. Yes, right? beautiful there. Eh? That is a sable antelope. A male. Yeah. And while I may not be able to spot one in Kruger, I spotted one in Klokalan. That's crazy. You know, it's one of our favorite antelopes. That's beautiful though. I just want to try and zoom in a little closer. Is he the only one? I don't know. But he is stunning. Come closer. Bio sculpture. I had to come back here. Yeah. Is this the place? This is the place. Okay. So let me sketch the background. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When I was at the church, the Dutch Reformed Church, and spoke to the lady in the office, I, yes. I said to her, I said, what other interesting things are there to see in the town? Right, like, like we normally do. Yes, yes, yes. And she said to me that, um, to mention the, the, the show, we missed the show, the agricultural show, with about two weeks. What a pity that is. Yeah, eh? yeah. And I told her that we'd been to the station and stuff, and she said, it's a pity the station doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. But then she said, I must come to buy a sculpture. So I said, yeah, we drove past, but we don't know what industry. We drove right past it, but we don't know what industry it is. She says it was a lady who started a business in Tlokalan. Right. From, from her house. Right. Making products for fingernails. Okay for the fingernails, false nails. And artificial stuff, nails. Artificial nails. All right. And it's expanded so much that she's exporting. To, she thinks it's more now, but the last time she heard to 47 different countries. What? In the world, yeah. So this is a Tlokolan business that is doing so well. I thought that is fantastic. That's why I had to come back. Here. It is phenomenal. Yeah. Rightly so. And you can actually see, I mean, with the premises, yes. with the number of vehicles, yes. that it, this is a, it's a big concern. No, they're doing fantastic. What an entrepreneur that yeah. lady is, yeah. eh? Brilliant. So proudly Klok Alon and proudly South Africa. Exactly. Makes one proud. Yeah, that is so, I'm so happy that they told you yes. that. Yes. Love it. So, Bio Sculpture is an authentic Tlokolan business. Very interesting. Yeah. Check at this bull. 
They have gorgeous cattle here, hey? Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh. Massive, eh? Beautiful. Glockalan, my babes. Glockalan. What can I say about Glockalan? I'm happy that they're working on the roads. That's a good sign. They're improving the infrastructure again. I'm, I'm glad to see that. The approach road to and from need a lot of work though and yeah. I fear that uh, visitors may be deterred from going to Klokkalan because of the roads. Definitely, definitely. But it's interesting, oh, I love the old Standard Bank building, the town hall was beautiful. The church was spectacular, the Oenge church that I walked through, it's a beautiful, beautiful church. I really enjoyed going through that. And it's awesome that a Klokkalan enterprise is exporting to so many countries. That's yes. really something to be proud of. Oh, that's fantastic. That is brilliant. But uh, I would like to say thank you for joining us on this episode. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe down below and we'll see you in the next episode.